<laughs> today, today's Thursday, April 15th, otherwise known as Tax Day, 2021. My name is Alex, yours truly, forever entry level, your intern at Incorporating Associates. This is the Corporate Cowboys Podcast. How are you doing? Lovely to hear you too. (laughs) Today's episode is a special one. Every episode is special. Today's episode is going to be about backdoor entry. Entering through the back door. No, I don't mean anal sex. I mean backdooring motherfuckers in corporate. In the context of corporate, in relation, if y'all want to get a little bit more intimate, in relation to corporate work. You see, on some corporate cowboy shit, Backdooring motherfuckers is fun. It's fun. It's war. And um, business is war. You gotta love. You gotta love business. You gotta love war. Love is an overused term. Obviously, I think appreciation goes far enough. But if I'm speaking to the lay person, just your average Joe. It's difficult to conceptualize appreciation. That's why you hear a lot of folks saying, oh, I love this and I hate that. A dollar says they don't. A dollar says they don't love Frappuccinos. A dollar says they don't hate uh, grilled cheeses. Fucking... (laughs) It's just they, they either appreciate or they don't appreciate or either they appreciate either they have or they have appreciated it and have chosen to dislike it they prefer something else over grilled cheese but hate it no i doubt it if they hated it they'd be on a mission to i don't know destroy the grilled cheese industry <laughs> Consumers and, and producers, fucking suppliers and, and buyers. <clears throat> but backdooring motherfuckers? Well, it comes up in the uh, context of arguments, I guess. That'd probably be the easiest way to analogize it. Because, yeah, like, backdooring somebody literally would mean kicking in somebody's back door and laying motherfuckers down, right? Or laying them out. It's, you know, on that get down or lay down fashion. No witnesses type shit. Backdooring folks in corporate though. Uh, you could you could say some professionals do that uh through linguistics. Obviously, that's what I'm working on. Honing my craft using logic and tact. I I really do try to not ask a question I don't already know the answer to. The only reason I'm asking is to verify, is to confirm. And that doesn't, it doesn't conform with confirmation bias because me simply knowing the truth if if truth is relative if truth is subjective it's subjective only to context and if in a context i should appear mr alex the dickhead in a room full of pussies everybody's fucked right (laughs) that's how i don't ask questions i already know the answer to what am I going to ask? Do y'all smell something off? Do y- y'all smell something around here? <laughs> Fuck. 
fucking Alex the dickhead. Alex the dick. So I'm not going to ask questions I already know the answer to. That's where you backdoor motherfuckers. Did I trip myself up right there? I'm not going to ask questions I already know the answer to. And I won't ask questions I don't know the answer to. No, I think the latter is... uh more and more on the along the lines of be careful what you ask be careful <clears throat> yeah be, be careful what you ask for be careful what you go looking for i suppose that's right but you got to be sure that's the whole point of backdooring motherfuckers is that you're you're betting I mean, if you're a betting person, if you enjoy putting money, resources, assets, your life on the line, you're betting that whatever is on the other side of that door, you can necessarily take down. And if you can't, well, then you're fucked. You think you're walking, swinging big dick. And uh, <laughs> it reminds me. Uh, that piece from the movie uh, Kill Bill, I don't know, one, two, or three, fucking, where they're in the desert, and the uh, the bride, the main character, walks up onto the trailer, <clears throat> and the dude is just waiting for her, right? And she doesn't know this. <laughs> and sprays her ass with the 12 gauge. <laughs> Maybe not sprays, but wets her ass up with the fucking 12 gauge. <laughs> so you need to know. You need to know. And yeah, granted, it's not a a one-to-one -one comparison because she wasn't backdooring the trailer. But when you backdoor anybody, anything, any organization, and that's why. It could be on the micro level. It could be with an individual if you're just going back and forth, talking to them and, and, and some kind of conversation discussion some kind of discourse you have to be sure about what you're getting into you have to be sure that what you're getting into you can either come out alive or you can take that licking because i mean thankfully thankfully in corporate most often it's not life or death that's why you can continue playing. That's why you can continue. And if you're really professional, if you are really professional, if you really know how to employ diplomatic tact, it doesn't even look like you're backdooring somebody. It just looks like you're asking a simple question. It just looks like you're making a simple assertion. You don't appear infallible. You don't look like you're perfect. You just look like a corporate cowboy on a mission. Whether they choose to assist you or not, whether they choose to open up and reveal themselves onto you, it's entirely up to them. If not, you're laying motherfuckers out either way. <laughs> Woo! That's some corporate cowboy shit, man. <laughs> Yeah, because I, I think folks hesitate at the door. Folks hesitate at the idea of backdooring somebody. I mean, there are some who just who just walk in like unannounced and think they own the spot and then they get laid the fuck out. They get wet up thinking that they're entitled to something, thinking that they haven't contributed a damn fucking thing and yet they're owed something. You see a lot of those. In daily life, in society, and in corporate. And then there are those who you know are capable, who you know might even be nice enough to knock.
those are ones that uh <clears throat> I think are mostly are mostly if not always good the ones who knock why because they're announcing themselves they're making themselves known it's public it's public affairs it's not a surprise what is a surprise is is getting backdoored man I mean, and to prevent, not to prevent, but to mitigate the effect of getting backdoored, you have to be on your toes. You have to be constantly aware, constantly aware of a different angle to your own operation. You have to be actively, what's the term? Is it fortifying? Not even fortifying because you're not necessarily stronger, but assessing yeah i think assessing you have to be continuously assessing your situation situational awareness there you go and you have to maintain that throughout your entire fucking life throughout your entire career in corporate lest you get backdoored and knock the fuck down <laughs> Because it, like your, <clears throat> because your life could end with one sentence, with one phrase, with one question, and you're caught unprepared, you're caught with your fucking pants down or something, and you don't have time to reach for your strap. I mean, you don't have time to prepare an answer, right? And they let you have it. Boom. Your fucking livelihood, your career, your image. All gone. All erased. Welcome to fucking corporate, baby. But corporate is loving. Corporate is a loving institution. It doesn't it doesn't give second chances. It doesn't give second lives, but it gives you enough of a notice, enough of a forewarning to prepare yourself. To prepare yourself because it's letting you know. It lets you know. The experience tells you and will show you that not only do you have to prepare and mitigate any effect in preventing from getting backdoored. But every once in a while, you're going to have to be the one to backdoor somebody else. Motherfuckers who don't want to be removed. Motherfuckers who don't want to listen. Motherfuckers who have grown complacent. Motherfuckers who aren't carrying their weight. Motherfuckers who create nothing but slack. And don't pick up their slack. Motherfuckers who aren't even good at delegating slack. That's what you backdoor. And even then, words only go so far. You backdoor somebody and they always got an excuse for something. They always have a finger to point at somebody else with. Experience will tell you. Experience will tell you right off of the bat whether that deflection is was necessary, whether that deflection was authentic, or whether that deflection was just deception. I mean, at that point, you already got your fucking pistol raised. You don't really give a fuck. They're pointing some, somewhere else in the room, but there's nobody else in the room with you, too. You're going to fucking let them have it. That's life in corporate. <laughs> Motherfucking early retirements. <laughs> oh. Follow us on Instagram. That's at incorporating dot associates underscore IA. 
shoot us a donation if y'all want. Um, this operation is nonprofit, so a lot of it is private now, but we are formalizing. Like I said, a special day is coming up in uh, this month, actually. This month, a couple of days, maybe a week. So that'll be a cool little announcement. Uh, PayPal.me slash Corporate Cowboys. Uh, Venmo, that's at Alex underscore Coco. Cash app, dollar sign, Corporate Cowboys. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already to the Corporate Cowboys podcast. And you could donate on a monthly basis. We're on Patreon. You can find us. You'll recognize us. You already know what the fucking deal is. Have a nice weekend.